All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Raiders Daily, where we post daily Las Vegas Raiders content. If that's something you enjoy and you enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. So I was actually going to make a video on Trayvon Morig, and we'll talk a little bit about him later on in the video. But I was reading an article on play or PFF.com, and they were going through all the secondaries. And I would imagine... Raider Nation, I want to hear from you guys in this video. Like, it's very important I hear from you guys in this video because I understand the Raiders lost Casey Hayward. But I feel like there are some absolute dogs on the secondary. And I was reading through the rankings, and they were 29th. 29th best secondary in the entire NFL. I understand if somebody thought they were mediocre. I think they're an above average secondary. 29th, bro? Am I miss like like actually though, am I missing something? Because like I said, I get they lost Casey Hayward, but am I missing something? Before we talk about it a little bit more, let's go through the freaking three other goddamn teams that apparently have a worse secondary. I guarantee you these are going to be bottom feeders in the NFL. Bottom feeders in the NFL. All right. So 29th, Las Vegas Raiders. We'll talk about them in just a second. Seahawks, 30th. Bears, 31st. Houston, Texas. Brother, those three teams will not combine to, uh, you know what, maybe now with 17. Maybe the, uh, all right. If the Raiders weren't in the AFC West, which is the best division, it's the strongest division I have seen in football in a very long time. I can't even actually think about the last time I saw a division this freaking loaded. Which, by the way, the Broncos and the Chargers have to catch up to the Raiders. Catch up to the Raiders. Raiders were already good before this offseason. Okay, keep that in mind. I actually don't need to tell Raiders fans. If you're a non-Raiders fan, Raiders were already good. Other teams have to catch up to them. Okay, but the Seahawks three wins, Bears four wins, Texans four wins. What is that? Ten, brother. The Raiders are getting more wins than those three teams combined. That is frustration city right there. All right, let's go through the list. Here are the projected starters. Trayvon Mullen Jr., who went healthy, is, I think he's one of the best up-and-comer guys at his position. Here's the thing. They liked, they pointed out that he's allowed more than 401 yards in his last nine games. Learning curves, in my opinion. Rocky Sin. Now, Rocky Sin's interesting because this is a new mic, mic all good. Rocky Sin's interesting because he's only 25 years old, and he was just acquired in a trade. I think he fits what Patrick Graham's looking for perfectly. I mean, the Raiders wouldn't have gone out and traded for Rock had they not anticipated he was going to fit well in the scheme. So I have no worries about Rocky Sin. You could argue that he is on the younger end, but so is their entire secondary. So I think that they're at the bro. They're at the the Raiders secondary at the very worst is adequate. It's at the very worst adequate. 29th, dude. I'm actually like. I'm getting pissed off at that. I, Unless I am wrong, once again, if I am wrong, please let me know down below in the comment section, but I'm pretty freaking sure I'm not wrong. So moving on, Nate Hobbs, most underrated cornerback in the league. That might be a little bit biased, but I think he, how's this? He's one of the more underrated cornerbacks in the entire league. I don't think that's far-fetched in the slightest, actually. And now let's talk about the safeties. Because this is where I start getting excited. Jonathan Abrams, or Jonathan Abrams, sorry, what did he have last season? 130 tackles? 130 tackles? This guy's been in the league for a couple years. A couple years. The guy I was going to make this video about Trayvon Morig. I actually have his stats. I was, Like I said, I was going to make this video. <laughs> He's one of the most promising. Yeah, so last year was his rookie season. All right, keep that in mind. So the Raiders' defense whether or not they got rock whether or not they had gotten chandler jones whether or not they had gotten you know all these new additions on the defensive end they were already on the up and up the raiders defense already on the up and up so when you look at a cat like the 2021 second round pick trayvon 17 games played every goddamn snap every single defensive snap 55 tackles, 
Bro, what is it? Why are there all these flies down here? Get out of here. Get out of here. Anyways, last season, all 17 games, 55 tackles, six pass defenses, and a pick. He's 23 years old, and like I said, he didn't miss a single defensive snap. Didn't miss a single defensive snap. But you can take that with a grain of salt, right? You can take that with a grain of salt, being like, all right, yeah, cool, he played every game, he didn't get hurt. whoop de fucking do Am I allowed to say those words? I genuinely don't know. I feel like the videos I drop, accidental F-bombs, they don't do too well. So I'm sorry, I'll stop dropping accidental F-bombs. But anyways, in every defensive snap, you could argue like, okay, cool. What else? Why, why, why does that matter to me? What does that do for me? Well, I'll tell you what it does for me. Not only was he reliable health-wise, he was reliable in coverage. Only allowed 14 of the 24 passes that he was targeted on. 181 yards and only two touchdowns for a rookie. I'm not talking. I'm not saying we're. I'm not talking. We're, we're talking about. We're not talking about Richard Sherman in his prime. I'm not trying to get that far ahead of myself, saying this dude is the next best. Why can't I think of an elite, legendary cornerback? For some reason, bro, on the spot, for some reason, you think you'd know. Anyways, I'm not saying he's the next goddamn best cornerback to ever exist, but he's on the right path, and he also had a phenomenal rookie season. I think he had one of the more underrated rookie seasons. Before I had actually started covering the Raiders, there's not... These these players don't... You don't care... If you don't care about the Raiders, you're not going to care about any of these players. I guess is the way I'm... That's not going to last long. I want the record to show that's not going to last long. And I think last year might have been the last time that that was going to fly. Where it's like, yeah, you know, the Raiders defense got good. But what is this? Serious flaws. Yeah, Their secondary is fine, but... Um, Casey Hayward's gone, and they just have a lot of serious flaws, and I'm also a dork, and I'm 35, and I've never played a football snap, but I'm at, I'm in my base, I'm 23, and I'm making a video in my mom's basement, so I'm not trying to get that personal, but you get what I'm saying, so I don't know if these guys are going to be too good, shut up, that's it for today, man, let me, like, please let me know if I'm stepping out of line here, because I don't think this is the 29th best secondary in the league, I think that's, like, abs I actually, that is, ab it's absurd, bro, it's absurd, I, there is no way, I think it would, it would actually be hilarious if I was wrong, and every single comment is like, bro, chill, their secondary sucks cock, their secondary sucks, and this video, Elgo's gonna hate this video, if you ever see this video, good for youtube but please let me know what you guys think about this secondary down below because even like i said the worst i can see this defense this secondary sorry being is adequate adequate so i mean this is kind of ridiculous in my opinion please let me know if i'm online that's it for today hit the like button hit that sub button check out the link in the bio for my daily live no my sorry my daily nfl show that's it for today peace yo